Hey guys, it's Zach. I just uh, wanted to make a really quick video just making some general commentary. I've been wanting to kind of do something that's not quite so formal for a while now. Just low quality, you know, not setting up all the lighting and stuff like that. Just something that I can talk about a couple of things. And uh, something that happened today really prompted me to say something really quickly. So, as you all know, one of my main goals here has to sort of been to not call out, but at least present some contrary opinions and perspectives to some of the more prevalent voice teachers that are on YouTube. Well, today I happened upon a video from everyone's favorite uh, James Hetfield slash Freddie Mercury slash Michael Jackson slash uh, basically everyone wannabe. He started doing analysis videos that he frames as reaction videos. And so the people in the Discord server brought this to my attention and mentioned that he called some of the singing operatic. The quote specifically says, and yeah, he took a nice open vowel, almost very operatic. Good job, David. Obviously, he was referring to The Sound of Silence by Disturbed, the cover that I joked about in the Floor Janssen video. And I made a comment, as you can see, it simply says, I'm a professional voice teacher and bel canto opera singer. There's nothing opera related about the technique or delivery about this performance, which is true. The section in question, I believe, happens at the 510 mark on his video. And what's really happening in David singing in the song is that he's just doing this really wide open embouchure, open mouth, big kind of thing like that. And so the voice teacher slash coach slash cover artist slash whatever cool in the gang whatever he is uh makes an overt comment saying that it's operatic and it's not so i just simply point out that there's nothing opera about the way that it's sung if it were opera you'd hear a formant frequency you would have no microphone there certainly wouldn't be any kind of push or strain from a high laryngeal position like what's in the video but what's happened now is that upon asking others about the comment, I found that I've been blocked. In case you don't know, the way that YouTube blocks you is they let your comment stay there, but no one else can see it. So if I go through and I block someone who's like called me a stupid beef or called me fat or whatever, kill myself, all the multiple comments that I've gotten since I started this channel, um, if I block them, what actually happens is their comment stays there, but they don't know that it's been you know made to where no one else can see it. They call it shadow banning or something like that. So I've been blocked from this individual's YouTube channel to make comments. And the most important thing that I want to point out here is that we are in a situation on YouTube where people who are calling themselves voice coaches are able to hide behind this ability to shadow ban. And what it does is it prevents people from having averse opinions or ideas about what they have to say. So it limits any way of challenging their credibility. Not to mention that this specific individual has been known to come after people legally for making negative comments or videos about him. The difference between this individual and some of the other voice coaches on YouTube is that some other people who I have made critiques of in the past have actually reached out to me and addressed some of those things with me and we've had discussions about it and I plan to bring some of that up with you all later at another time. But what we've done is we've Kind of had a meeting of the minds and we've sort of kind of come to a better understanding about where where we see things and what we're trying to do and what our goals are in this case this particular individual just aggressively attacks people who criticize his commentary or his material in case you all don't know i've left myself completely open and vulnerable to commentary i've been insulted and torn to pieces by people and i've left it all up except for the absolutely most egregious like most offensive you know like call me fat or like tell me to kill myself like if someone has a legitimate critique to add to the discussion even if it means they have a little bit of a tinge of an insult i leave it but if you know if someone just insults me for no reason then i then i delete it you know I, but i try to leave most commentary there i probably deleted no more than five or six comments since I started the channel. And I plan to keep it that way because I want I want there to be a discourse. And if you disagree with me, I certainly would like to at least know where you're coming from so that I can better understand the way the public receives my commentary and my comments. Because, you know, it's very important. I, I want to tailor my commentary to people so that it's understandable, but I don't want to, at the same time, make my commentary come across as shallow or as lacking because I am scared to offend someone by saying that, you know, 
Floor Jansen doesn't have perfect technique or whatever it is. I mean, I, I put myself into a, a firing squad basically by doing that. I didn't know I did, but but I've done that. So, you know, I, I'm not afraid of that. And I think that the, the best voice teachers on YouTube, best voice coaches on YouTube are the ones that aren't afraid to kind of stare in the face of some of that negative criticism and feedback. And so my general comment that I want to make here is just watch out because as an up and coming YouTuber, I've kind of gotten a little bit of a taste of how things work behind the scenes. And there's a dirty politic game going on beneath the surface that has certain camps of voice teachers working with others and in certain networks with one another and they all go after this person and that person and there's people who sue people. It's absolutely ridiculous and there really needs to be some sort of standardized way that we can all come together as a voiced coach community to help the general public. But unfortunately, we're not in that situation unless you already have, you know, over a million subscribers. And there are people who have huge backgrounds that are kind of secretly working to do something like that. And um, maybe things will get better in the meantime. But what I've, another thing that I found real quick, and this will be the last thing I talk about, is that I'm finding that a lot of these voice coaches are starting to take on my format of videos. Um, a lot of these people that were just doing simple reactions, ooh, ah, they're great, they're awesome, have started trying to put something that indicates a little bit more depth or nuance into their commentary. But what's happening is a lot of that is strictly based on falsehoods, non-truths. So as a result, I would tell all of you, be very careful, be very prudent about who you do and don't trust on YouTube because it really is the wild, wild west. And as much as the algorithm tries to push things up and down, that does not really mean a lot because of the fact that the people who get the most views get pushed up in the algorithm regardless of the quality of the content. Anyway, that's really all I had to say today. I just wanted to bring that all up to you so that you're aware of it. If you want to go look at this particular video in question and see that my comment is not there, please do. If you see my comment, I'd, I'd love to uh, I'd love to know because everyone I've asked is not able to see the comment. And you can see on my screen here that it's very clearly there. And um, people who hide behind false rhetoric and deliberately suppress the people who are contrary to them are beyond unprofessional. It's fraudulent. So with that being said, Look out for my video tomorrow. The poll is in. I think I'm going to be analyzing Bruce Dickinson, and that should be pretty fun because I have quite a few things to say about that one as well. Anyway, that's it. I hope you all have a good evening, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Thanks. Bye.